Hello, and welcome to a slightly special food review today, as I shall be reviewing uh, two items rather than one, although I'll probably film them on different days, so uh, that would explain why the lighting and possibly what I'm wearing is different. Um, more specifically, as you can probably tell from the title of this video, I'm reviewing two Pokemon um, food stuff things, which I ordered from Okatsu, okatsukafe.com and apparently my order is number 984 um, I'm not sure if that's in total or I don't know um, but anyway um, there's quite a few different Pokemon things on there um, but I decided to order the Pokemon Ramen Soy flavour there is also seafood but I, I don't like seafood also, I ordered the Pokemon Curry hot version, um, which I don't imagine is actually that hot because I'd imagine it's aimed at children. So anyway, um, little backstory, tiny backstory. Um, OkatsuCafe.com, basically um, you can order Japanese food and they ship it over to you. They sell a you know, range of stuff, crisps, um, sweets and stuff like that. And there's these. So. For the first review, I'm going to be doing the curry. Now, as you can see, it's a Best Wishes licensed one. As I believe that's what the BW still stands for. Unless they've changed the name of the series again. On it, we have a very excited looking Pikachu. Uh, an image of the curry, which looks... It looks okay. Um, I believe from the description on the website there... Chunks of pork and vegetables and a hot curry sauce or something. Uh, there's a few other Pokemon. There's Durant. There's... I can't remember that one's name. There's Gerda, Reshiram, no Zekrom for some reason. Uh, Mianfu's Evolution, Swoobat, Simi Sage or Pan Sage, can't remember which. And Elgame! I love Elgame. Or LGM or however you spell it. There's lots of very exciting uh, words there. I really do wish I could read some katakana uh, or kanji just to really understand most of it. There's something about 80, 1, something, something. Is there a 1? No, that's probably a Japanese character. As in a letter character, not a Pokemon character. The side gives you nutritional value. Who the fuck cares? I didn't order this to be nutritious. I ordered it because it's Pokemon and it's Japanese and it's curry and it's exciting and everything. Um, so yeah, this is definitely a thing that's probably a mark of Shop Pro. Shop Pro 1. Awesome. And then at the back. Also, I must admit, very, very easy instructions. Tells you the wattage. Not even sure if my... I think my micro is like 800 or something, but... That's the times. Or you can boil in a bag for 3 to 5 minutes. Seems really reasonable. This is a... This is an easy to make meal. This isn't some gourmet splendidness. But this is aimed at kids, I think. Because, you know, it's Pokemon. Um, and unfortunately these days it's mainly aimed at kids. I am slightly upset that Pikachu isn't on the back showing you how to cook things, but rather just has a, you know, instruction. Uh, that looks like a bit like a TV, actually. But yeah, okay, well, um, when I come back I'll probably have updated you or cooked it or something. So yeah. Okay. And here it is, um, having been cooked uh, just as a, what sort of word of warning, um, the pack only comes with the curry and the curry sauce, not the rice, I had to make the rice myself. Um, uh, also, an interesting thing, I went to cook it in our microwave, um, because our microwave is around 850 watts and the back went up to 600, so... I tried to calculate around 40 seconds. 
Upon about 10 seconds of putting it in the microwave, it started pulsing and I thought it was going to explode. Thankfully, it didn't. And so here it is now. I am going to try some. Uh, I'm not going to film myself eating it because that's kind of weird. But I did get my hand on some sauce just now. And it must be said, it didn't taste massively hot. As I said, this is aimed at kids, so... You know, well, here it goes, I'm going to try some. Hmm, it's... Wow, okay, that's very mild. I shudder to think what the mild would be, actually. Because that's... I mean, it's okay. If you've ever ordered, like, chicken tikka, or if you've bought some in a can, that's basically it. There's... Not much to it, but then this is for kids, so... Oh, also, there's something else I am going to show you, uh, so please, hang on. Okay, I'm back, and just to say, having opened it up and everything, this is the inside. Um, where you can play... Who is that Pokemon? I think that's what it says, anyway. Um, it's in Japanese, and I can't read Japanese, but I think I've kind of given a spoiler away at the start of the video, because I named all of them. So, retrospectively, go back, and, you know, you'll know who all of these are. Uh, Pikachu looks really happy there, and, yeah. Also, included in this, is a sticker! Mine was of Muna, or in Japanese, Marumiya, which is cool. Number 16, it's pretty cool, the, the stick is actually pretty thick, weirdly enough. It's not some really cheap thing, it's, you know. Pocket monsters, yay! So yeah, there it is, adorably sleeping. Never a big fan of Muna, but I don't hate it either. So yeah, that was the review for the Pokemon Curry. Next up, the Pokemon Rama. Hello, and welcome to the second review. Uh, this is for the Pokemon Ramen, the soy flavour, um, particularly. Um, I'm not really sure what any of this says particularly, so I'm afraid I'm not really going to be able to explain too much. I can see from here that it takes three minutes. Imagine it takes three minutes and three seconds. The arrows here indicate you probably pull the lid up up to here and pour the water in. And as you can see in the front, there are three kind of... These possibly come in the curry, possibly? I'm not sure. Tepig, Pikachu and Pipple up here. And that's actually an interesting thing I found on the front. In that, we get Piplup, Tepig, Pikachu, and Snivy. For some reason, Oshawott isn't here. This may be... I know this is related to Best Wishes, I believe. Or maybe it's not, even. I'm not sure. It doesn't say Best Wishes anywhere. Huh. Well, okay. But, regardless, this may be Dawn's Piplup. And I don't know why Ash is Oshawott isn't here. Anyway, do not tip it, do not microwave it, do not shoot arrows at it. Maybe uh, it's Japanese. Also, I've noticed this. This is raised, which means you can possibly peel this off. I'm not sure why. Um, but I will find out in a second when I open this up and I'll show you what's inside and then we'll kind of cook it. Or oh, I'll Pour some water into it, anyway. Okay. Okay, here it is, out of the packaging, and uh, the steps, as we can sort of make out there. Pull out the sauce packet, or put the sauce packet in, I think. Put water in, and leave it for three minutes and stir. Um, I'm not going to pull this off until I've done everything, because I believe this serves as a kind of packaging thing to hold on to, because it'll get really warm due to the boiling water. I shall open this up and the sauce packet thingy is in there I believe 
along with the ramen. Oh, oh no, it's a card. It's a pog. It's a, I don't know what this is. I'll open this up in a second. Uh, that looks like um, the evolution of of sand oil. Crocodile, possibly. That's the noodles. Pour stuff in then, second. Right, okay. I shall open this and come right back. Okay, this is the sticker. Um, it's, I'm pretty sure it's Crocodile. Although I can't read kanji, although it may probably say it. And on the back, we have um, information about it. Probably 1.5 feet. I'm not sure, 96.3 something. Okay, well, pretty cool sticker. I think it's a sticker anyway. I don't know, I'm probably not going to use it. It's the same as the uh, Munna sticker from Curry Thing. Just a lot smaller, it seems. Okay, well, I'm going to go pour some boiling water into here and I'll be right back with the taste thing. Hello, I'm back. I've left it for three minutes. Uh, it certainly looks ramen -y, if you can sort of see that. Uh, wow, these are rather soft noodles. I'm impressed. Uh, okay. Well, I'm going to try some. Uh, as I said, this is the soy flavour, so I'm not sure exactly going to taste that great. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. As Pokemon Curry has kind of taught me, these are for kids, so, you know. Hmm, it's... I don't know. It, it, it's hmm. It's hard to give a flavour to it, really. It's sort of soy, really. I guess that's that's the flavour that it was. So this was seafood, and I don't like seafood. So one thing I'm most perplexed with is that on the website they mention sort of fish shape thingies, as in the Naruto um, slices, and they don't seem to actually be any. But it certainly is quite a nice noodle thing. The noodles are really, really soft. I'm sort of impressed by just how soft they are, really. Um, but yeah, apart from that, that's it's a pretty good ramen, really. Um, taste, I'd give it 9 out of 10. It's, it's a little plain. It's not the best. But, you know, it tastes as soy. Um, as a presentation, it's pretty cool. When... I finished and this cools down, I'll peel off the cardboard, see if there's anything underneath. And there was the sticker as well, which is pretty cool. And I like that idea, really, as, same as the curry in that it, it may be just pandering to the market and sort of, you know, sort of capitalising on an idea here, but I'm fairly sure you get random stickers um, for each one, for the curry and the ramen. So that does mean the sort of there's more incentive to buy more than one of these rather than just going like, ah, oh, I'll buy another one because it has Pikachu on it. You get the stickers as well. I mean, I kind of like stickers. I could put it on my phone or something. So yeah, um, okay. I'll jump back to both and give an overall review and of the website and I will see you in a bit. Okay, an update on the ramen. There's a Pikachu there. Pikachu Naruto thingy. As in Naruto, the um, spirally thing, not the ninja. Uh, there's also a Piplup. I think you can see. Sort of. Let's see if I can balance this. Oh yeah! My good ramen master. Um, they have some taste too. They're quite, they're quite nice actually. It's an adorable Piplup. Um, I'll try and look for a Tepig. When I find one, I'll film that. Okay. Okay, and I have found a Tepig as well. Um, I'm, imp I'm impressed with the like, quality of them, as in you can see what they are easily. Um, but yeah, there's quite a few in here actually. Uh, they just floated to the top after like a bit of stirring. So yeah, this is uh, this. I, I'd give an extra half point for this, either a 9.5 or a 10, because 
presentation and everything. It's kawaii as fuck. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>